Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, sorry I haven't posted in a while. I actually had some issues with my YouTube channel, but everything seems to be resolved and I should be able to upload videos again without any issues. But, um, real quick, I know this is overdue and I know I have a video for the K1, um, sorry, for the S1 Pro overdue, but we'll do another video on that shortly after this one maybe. But um, I do want to give you guys an overview of all the um, changes I've made so far to the K1 Max. Um, some cool mods. And uh, th well, this is in general is going to be like my favorite overall mods I have for the K1 Max so far. Um, something that hopefully you guys will like so you guys can customize it and make it a little bit better um, than it comes from the factory. So I want to quickly start, I guess, from the top. So here at the top, we have... Um, these lid risers so these lid risers are made by um dan from um it's at dt3d print over at printables basically these raise up your this is a remix i believe but they raise up your um your your glass just slightly to allow some ventilation but also his particular one allows you to slide the panels back even further so you can have some access to your extruder here or just to have more airflow of your printing especially like PLA or anything like that so I've actually been printing with it like this without any issues I haven't had any clogs or anything like that it looks like the space it just allows uh, it to vent a little bit better than before and I'm not getting any more clogs from the from the extruder from heat creep um, second mod um, here that we have is this K1 Max lid holder I can't pronounce his name, but it's at underscore one five nine six one three five. I believe he's like um, um, somewhere from Russia or Ukraine. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. But I was using this little one to hold up my um, lid when printing like low temperature materials like PLA. This is really cool, but I did like these ones a little bit better. They just kind of like hold your printer more stable. And with this one, it, the glass kind of wobbles when you're printing at high speeds. So for me, these ones are a better option. Plus you get that sliding functionality there. You can slide it all the way or unless you had multiple clips, but here would be my limit where these clips end. You can slide it the other way around, but you have to readjust those clips. This one works pretty good. Um, Secondly, I think this um, spool holder, uh, this spool holder was made by, here, let me check my notes. Um, yeah, by Thomas, Thomas over at Printables. I'll link all of these mods in the description down below, but this mod is actually a remix of his original mod because somebody else remixed it so you can use the original spool holder with it. This one just kind of like, um, you kind of just um, screw it in place. And I bought one of these ones that rotate, which is a little bit easier. I like how you, need, how you use the um, uh, pneumatic fitting there to run the PTFE tube here a little bit. It makes feeding super easy. Plus, it just goes in through the original hole in the back. And overall, it's really cool. I really like this one. Now, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, the adjustable feet. These adjustable feet right here. They're made by, let me see, where is he? Oh yeah, jspox79 over at Printables. These are really cool, especially if you have like a uneven surface, like where I put my printer over where I have, uh, it's like a, those little um, like type cabinet things and it's not really flat. So you can actually use this mod to uh, give you a little bit of adjustment so you have a perfectly flat uh, well, not perfectly flat surface, but at least have the printer as flat as possible so it's not wobbling all over the place if you have an uneven surface, which is really cool. I really like this mod. Um, so shout out to Jay Spock for this one. Um, moving up here, uh, everything else here is stock. Um, I just, if you notice, my screen is a little bit different. I have a matte screen protector on it, which is kind of cool, but it does reduce the clarity a little bit. Let me turn on the um, printer so I can show you a little bit of what's going on on the inside here. Hold on. Okay, so with the printer on, um, you can tell the screen protector really helps it. Um, if you're wondering how I did this, this is just a matte screen protector from an iPhone. I just cut it to size and put it on there. But uh, let's get into the inside here. So real quick, of course, I've upgraded my bed to a textured PEI bed, uh, which is awesome. I love these things so much. 
and we have um, bed leveling um, silicone spacers for bed leveling and these bed knobs that were made by um, Kirby. All these prints are found on printables, by the way. But Kirby made these little ones. They just require a little M4 nut, and you can adjust the bed. Uh, if you have it rooted, you can run a screw leveling uh, macro, and you'll get the bed perfectly level, and it's really cool. It honestly is probably the best mod. Plus, if you use the correct size um, screws or cut them to size, they won't be sticking out, and it looks really clean. Like this, it looks clean. Honestly, you wouldn't even notice it. Uh, these are 12 millimeter silicone spacers. I bought the orange one so they match with the heater, which just makes it a little bit cleaner as well. Um, moving up, we have that cooling um, duct for the auxiliary fan. That one is probably one of my favorite ones other than the actual um, um, cooling duct from the top one right there. But that auxiliary duct is made by Alex Y over at Printables. And it's really cool. It gives you so much more um, cooling space, I would say. It and it, and it has an even um, it has an even um, airflow. Um, here, maybe I can show you in a sec with a piece of paper. Give me a sec. So this might help visualize it. But I'm gonna turn on the um, side fan 200%. It's actually I think it's a little bit quieter quieter than the stock one. But look at this airflow. It's almost, it's basically even all around and it covers most of the bed. Sorry, let me repeat that because the fan was on, but it has an even, like a uh, pretty good even airflow all around. I used another mod from another one, but it was more like early stage and you had some air coming in from this side more than that side. But this one's really even and it covers more of the bed because unfortunately you get the normal duct which was made for the k1 not for a k1 max and this one really fixes the um the cooling uh, just gives you a better cooling all around especially if you're doing a big model and it's really really cool i really like this one that one's probably one of my uh, favorite mods on this printer and it makes it a little bit quieter as well i think maybe i'm just imagining that but i'm um, moving over to the extruder here real quick we have this cooling duct this cooling duct is honestly my favorite one i've used a couple of them but that duct is made by uh tbk maker and this is the mk5 the mk5 um if you follow this creator for a bit here i'll show you the mk4 so this is the mk4 and this is obviously the newest version so the mk4 was just kind of like you kind of like put it in place like that but in my case, it would kind of wobble or loosen over time, especially with the high speeds. But this overall is a very cool like integration or upgrade from the standard one. And this one takes it even further. The way that the channels are made makes, uh, I guess from his research, I think the airflow restriction from the air being pushed here to the ducts is very close to a minimum. Maybe, I don't know exactly what the right terms would be, but you get a lot of cooling. I feel the fan. Like it just feels like more air is coming in or coming out than the stock one. Like the stock one's kind of like restricted or something. It is only through one side though, but I guess if you're printing something like with um, PLA or something, then the side fan would hit it from this side and then this duct will hit it from this side, making it pretty even cooling in this case um and let's see so i do have this um upgrade and quotations it's a clone triangles lab hot end uh like the obc cht something like that this um uh, the first time i got it i got the wrong connector and it kind of burned out my motherboard but these boards are really cheap they're only like 20 bucks and um it's been working. I've had it since maybe like the first month after I got the printer. So I've had this this one on here for a couple months, maybe a month or two. Or, or ever since I uploaded the first video about it on my channel. I'm not exactly sure anymore. But it's been working. It works great. Um, not sure if it's better than stock, but it does look a little bit nicer because it's slimmer. But I don't know. I guess it's up to personal preference. The newer unicorn nozzles that came out from Crowley, they, they probably do a much better job than this now, but 
anyways this was pretty cool i don't regret getting this one at all plus it only cost me like maybe 10 15 dollars from aliexpress i know it's a clone but i mean they work i have it on the s1 pro 2 and they just work they work perfectly fine um, other than that i just made some um mods to the liner basically just took the sticker off if you take off the sticker there's already two holes in here to mount m3 screws and i have the m3 screws and i just kind of like trimmed them to as small as possible that would just barely thread in there and i don't know after i removed the sticker i couldn't put it back on so i, I guess this kind of looks kind of cool kind of goes with the vibe i would say of the new extruder and there's the sticker uh from before but um so far i think that's all the mods the only other things i've done were just cosmetic mods like i did wrap the side panels i'm not sure about you but acrylic panels man they scratch up so fast i can't even i didn't even have them for like a week before i had scratches and they're just an eyesore for me so i took off the panels and i wrapped them this is contact taper uh contact paper kind of like the ones you use for like furniture and stuff like that but um I just wrapped them up uh, pro tip if you're gonna wrap them uh, make sure the surface is super clean from the acrylic and use Windex Windex to um, moisten up the surface before you put the contact paper trust me it'll get you those um, air bubbles out a lot better if you just try to do it dry if you do it dry you're not gonna be able to adjust it and you're gonna have a bunch of air bubbles yeah and that sucked because I, I did this like at least four times uh with different paper and that was the best the uh best method but take a look at this mm -hmm. i mean look at how clean it is this is kind of textured too and that makes sense because it's made for like cabinets and that sort of stuff but it's textured it's pretty cool it makes uh the printer look i don't know i just like the look kind of goes with it but um let me see i think that's everything guys um but i'll leave a link to all these mods down in the description hopefully i don't miss one um yeah that's that's about it um yeah let's see da, 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 da. yeah that's everything so far i've done a lot of other um uh, mods to it um printed mods of course and honestly this is my favorite combination so far so i really like my two favorite ones is probably going to be the hot end fan on first place the mk5 and this would probably be in second place i, I love that thing that thing is awesome um it just kind of like completes the actual functionality of the printer but yeah let me know um, what you think if you have some cooler mods i should check out definitely leave them in the video description below and I'll see you on the next mod. So hopefully the next video would be about that thing right there. The S1 Pro. I know a lot of you follow me for that one. So I'll do a showcase on that one. Because that one has a lot of pretty cool mods on it too. But yeah. Uh, don't forget to like the video. And leave any comments down below. See you on the next one.